You know Putin's got to listen to your podcast, right? I hope so. Hey, what's up, bro? He be I I guarantee you all you've got to do. He's got solid is, judo. Does he? Yep. Yeah, I praise him on his judo. He's got legit judo. He's a judo black belt. If he wanted to fly you over, would you Nay. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with your brain? I would love that. Why would you do that? I would love it. Because if anything, do you know the story about uh, Robert Kraft in the football in the Super Bowl ring? Where he took his ring and put yeah. it on and then kept it? Yeah, he said, I could kill someone with this ring. I'd lose this watch and in he a just heartbeat. He walks away. Yeah, you would lose that watch in a heartbeat, but no one cares about a watch. He can get a watch, but he can't get a Super Bowl ring. So he just took the Super Bowl ring. Dude, that's a different kind of human. He's oh. probably one of, if not the richest man in the world. And, you know, the fact that he just did that to that dude and just walked off with that ring. But what about the prospect of you hanging out with Putin and turn him into a cooler dude? of your fucking mind. Yeah, hey, forget about all those people that you killed that were your political opponents. Let's be cool now. <laughs> just be a different person now. Be a totally different human with a totally different background that wasn't in the KGB, <laughs> that isn't a dictator, that doesn't control information and control what news gets distributed to your people, that doesn't have a <laughs> lockdown on the internet and is in complete control of all the oligarchs in your country to the point where they're so embedded with you that when you go to war with Ukraine, they steal the oligarchs' yachts because they, they confiscate them because they shouldn't have the money that they have because the only way they could have the money they have is if they're in cahoots with you and you're obviously evil. You're yeah. never going to get an invite talking this way. <laughs> yeah, it's not my gig. You don't gotta, care about any of that shit, though. I still want to meet Kim Jong Un. Whoa. Yeah, I want to. I want to. That's. I would be. I, I. Shit like that interests me. What interests me is Trump meeting him. That was interesting. Met Kim Jong Un after he called him a little rocket man. He goes to meet him. Shucks, shakes his hand. They're all smiling. Yeah, it's. Um, that's a awful game. You're. 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 Um, you're. You're, you're meeting dictators. <sighs> I mean, if you're the president of the United States, like Trump, but you're trying to make you know foreign relationships better, you're supposed to do that. It's good. Oh, wow. Look at that look Those in his two face. Haircuts. It's also the, the, sm the, the fucking mocking glare that Trump gives everyone. Because that. it's like, you, with Trump, when Trump's talking to someone, it's always like, be nice or I'm going to talk shit. It's like, it, it, no matter what, it's like, I may... Talk shit. Like, well, let's get through this. Let's make have an agreement. Hey, nice to meet you too. Don't say nothing or I'll talk shit. Like, even the way this this smug like look on his face while he's shaking hands with the guy. All right, all right. What so a fucking character. This is a adjacent conversation. Look at that. That's the border. Oh, so that's where they met. That's right the at line. The, the parallel. That's the fucking line. Imagine the guy that installed those grates. That's two different companies. Obviously, not one company installed both those grates. I know, right? It has crazy? to be. But what about the building? How the fuck but, is there one building that crosses both lines? Yeah, who built that building? Who built that fucking building? Did they meet in the middle? The yeah. whole the, the North Korea thing is wild. When I had Yeonmi Park on, and she explained how she got out of North Korea when she was 13, how she escaped and went to China, and like, wow. Uh, that was it's one of those stories you're like, holy shit. She's talking about how people are starving in North Korea. Those are the kind of people that don't want to hear nothing about all this Marxism and woke communist, communist bullshit. They don't want to hear nothing about that because they know this is where this goes. What they said to all those people there, they said, we can all have food if everyone just gives up their land. All these people that own land, they're the problem. We give up the land, then we'll all have the land. And the moment they did that, the moment people agreed to that, everybody's starving. Then the government controls the food distribution, and if you try to take more than you share, you get killed. It's horrific shit what they did. Horrific shit. But it all was under the guise of making a more equitable society, making a more fair and just world. Like, why should these rich people have these farms? Why should these rich? We should give it to the state. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the state is in control, and everybody's starving. People are eating bugs, just trying to stay alive. Yeah, I didn't watch that episode. It's rough. But that's the problem with like shaking hands with a dictator. Like, but what are you what's, doing? What's the difference? I mean, uh, arguably, I, I, I'm obviously I know I'm going to get lit up for saying this. But what's the difference between shaking hands with our president? It's our, a big difference. But our the, the way the, our con the way this country is run, it's not perfect. But the not. way this country is run is f so fucking superior to any system 
that is anywhere else in the world because of the checks and balances that were put in place by the founding fathers. They knew that tyranny is a natural course of progression for human nature. It's just what people do when they get in control. They become dictators, and they put all these checks and balances in the House and the Senate, and the, and they did it all with the Electoral College to, to make sure that this term limits, make sure that you can't do that. Yeah. Make sure you can't do what Putin's doing. Make sure you can't do what Kim Jong-un's doing. Because when you get into a position like that, just look at what they try to do. Look at what people try to do to stop criticism on Twitter. They, yeah, they, they fucking send the FBI to Twitter to try to re remove people from Twitter because they're saying things that interferes with the way they govern. Yeah. Like, all that shit is natural. And the founding fathers of this country were the only people that put together a system to mitigate that. And over time, these fucking cunts and these corrupt shitheads have done an amazing job of trying to chip away at that or convince people that it should be chipped away at and convince people that freedom's not important. What's important is equity and inclusiveness and diversity. And no, 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 no. That is a fucking, that's a sheep costume that the wolf wears. And the wolf is control. The wolf is control over people and forcing people to bend to your ideological will, whether it's the will of the people on the right or the will of the people on the left. That's what it comes in. It comes in the form of like equity and inclusiveness. But you're make saying, you're saying, fair. I think you're saying the same thing almost, right? Because it's kind of, it's almost like uh, McCarthyism, like where they start saying this is how it works. You can't question trans, you can't yeah, tra whatever it is, anything, yeah. and climate it's, change. It's happening there too, yeah. almost, right? It's happening on both places. Well, it's a natural thing that people do. They don't want people questioning things because they don't. Just like. You don't want someone to ask you, who's Freddie Gibbs? Like, I don't, n nobody, forget it. That's what it's like. It's like they don't want to deal with all the different things that you have to deal with when you're debating something and you want to be proven correct. So what's the best way to do it? Just silence that person. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Take them off Twitter. Ban him. Lock him up. Put him in jail. Give him house arrest. You know, uh, sue him. Find a way to stop it. And that's what people do. It's a natural thing that people do. Yeah. It's, I mean, it sounds like it. It sounds to me like it happens everywhere. It sort of happens everywhere, but here is the best version of it. This is the best version of it. This is the most doing, free we're, version we're of it in the world. We're kind of doing it to ourselves a little bit. But we aren't also because you and I are on a fucking podcast right now that millions of people are listening to, and we're not being censored at all. So no. this exists here uniquely. You have to understand that. This ability to broadcast to millions of people without any censorship, without any no oversight, there's no one leaning over our shoulder, that's unprecedented.